Hey. Hi. Hi. Welcome to your first Instagram live. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was just finding a way to come in. <laughs> well, now you're on. So, um, one thing first is the fans definitely want to know, kind of, how have you been spending your quarantine time? Um, I think I've been playing a lot of video games, you know, uh, playing a lot of PUBG on my iPad, if not for PlayStation. So, I mean, it's just been games. A lot of games. So, usually, are you more into computer games or kind of more like, you know, PlayStation? Or what do you usually use the most for games? I mean, it depends. If I'm going to play with a few, few of my friends, so I play a lot of PUBG on my iPad. If, yeah. if I wish to play something of my own, of some adventure or something, I go on to my PlayStation. Okay. Good to know. So now let's get started with some fan questions. So RK asks, any other IPL franchise you would like to be with in the future? So you've been with Gen Nye. Um, Is there any other franchise you would, you know, is a dream to play in as well? Um... I've never given a thought about it, so I don't know. And I don't want to get into trouble saying something. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. Um, okay, so I guess your friend Arjun Vasudev is asking, is it true that Arjun is your best friend? I think he's watching as well. <laughs> yes, I think. I mean, obviously, we are very close. Um, we've, I mean, we go a long way back because he's always been my classmate. And uh, uh -huh. I mean, we used to spend a lot of time together. So share a stiff like, story, you know, if you guys have done something bad in class or like, you know, something that could have gotten you into trouble or has gotten you into trouble. Um, remember I was telling you I used to bunk a lot of classes to play yeah. football? Yeah, yeah. So these were the people, I, they, they made sure that I wasn't a very good student at school. Oh, okay. So we're, we're going to blame you, Vasudev. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Sarguna is asking, who is your batting role model? At the moment, I think I like Virat Kohli a lot, the way he plays. I'm a big fan. Me of too. Him. Me too. Very big fan. Um, so, Grishma is asking, how do you motivate yourself in tough times? Sorry? How, so, Grishma is asking, how do you motivate yourself in tough times? So, you know, if you're going through any kind of tough patch, how do you kind of get going with it? I mean, um, especially when it comes to cricket, I can just relate myself only with cricket yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, I think... You know, once you go through a bad patch, I think it's very important that you come back to the basics, what you've always been doing. That's probably one thing which I'll obviously focus on when things are not going well. And, uh, you know, just do the things that you actually started doing when you started your career. Yeah. That's probably the best solution. So, I mean, I know these days you're kind of missing cricket a lot. So, have you been watching any highlights or previous match games or anything like that to kind of relive moments? I mean, two days back, there was a match which was being showcased on the TVs. Um, I think it was a partnership where Rahul Dravid and VVS Lakshman played against Australia for one whole day, getting mm -hmm. 300 runs or something. So, I was watching that game. So, uh, Fuse just asked, uh, what is usually your thought when, like, a bowler is running up to you, right? When you're batting. So, what are some thoughts that go into your mind? I think that's actually a really good question just because even for me, kind of being a batsman, especially when you're playing in, like, the Tamil Nadu Premier League, where you have cameras and you know an audience like that. So, what are some really thoughts sorry, that I go just on? I see a lot of my friends saying something. And <laughs> <like laughing about. laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I can see them too. <laughs> but yeah, so what are what are some thoughts that kind of go when you're like you know on the field, whether it be if you're keeping or batting? Kind of how do you keep yourself calm and mentally in check? I mean, obviously, when you face a fast bowler, you've got a lot of thoughts running inside your head, especially when he's bowling really quick at you. Mm -hmm. But I think the best solution and something which we, we, not only me, but all the cricketers focus on is, you know, make sure that you have your mind as clear as possible yeah. when the bowler is coming at you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so Ajut asks, if not a cricketer, what would you be? If not a cricketer. Who was the question asked by? Um, this was Ajut. Okay, oh, sorry. Um, if not a cricketer, maybe some other sport for sure. Some other sports for sure. Yeah. Maybe a golfer. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, someone did ask. So someone was saying um, how, yeah, Brinda was asking that you've been training for golf. What kind of got you into that? So I know we talked about how, um, you know, you were interested in golf before cricket. So kind of what's that? Like, 
do you actually do a lot of professional golf training as well? No, Is I it don't just do any okay. professional golf okay. training. I just go to the course and I just, just for fun. Hit the balls, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Azim is asking, who is your favorite singer? Favorite singer? Um, maybe in Bollywood right now, it's Arjit Singh. I love Arjit Singh. Yeah. What's your favorite song of his? Shit. Or one, one that you've been listening to a lot, maybe recently or something like that. Um, I like the album of Hey Javani, I think it's by Arjit Singh. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I like his album. Okay, Darshia is asking, what's your favorite funny cricket memory? Funny cricket memory? Um, so, probably when we were playing a league match in Chennai. So, the ground was about 60 kilometers away. So, we had to take a van in the morning and then go. So, yeah, we reached the ground. We started a warm up. The toss was also done. We were batting. So, I go <laughs> into the dressing room and all of a sudden, I just realized that, fuck, I've... <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot my kit bag. So I was like, I didn't have a kit bag that game. So I was like, I was going to my other players and we, I was like, Dude, can you give me a pad, man? Can you give me a helmet? So I'll just wear it and go. That was probably one. I just forgot, forgot my kit bag. How do you forget your kit bag? Like as a cricketer? You know, the thing is we have a home ground back in Chennai. Yeah. So we always keep our kit bags in the dressing room. So when the team was about to leave, I mm -hmm. had a feeling that those people had kept my kit bag inside the wall. Okay. So I was like, okay, cool. Went back to the ground and I was like, okay, no kid. Okay. I won't blame you for that then. <laughs> um, so, Ajib is asking, any advice from Emma Stoney that you'll never forget? Um, there's one thing, actually, when I was doing a lot of wicket-keeping drills with Gregory King. So, Dhoni, all of, all of a sudden, he was padded up. So, he came up to me and he was like, he was like, whenever he's hitting the ball away from you, don't try and dive. Make sure that, no problem if you don't catch the ball, make sure that you move and catch it with two hands. That's probably one thing. Since then, I've always been trying to move a lot more. Okay. So, Aladgar was asking, have you thought about um, shaving your head during this quarantine or doing a clean shave? I have actually seen a lot of cricketers <laughs> do that during this quarantine because they don't have to go out. But have you kind of thought about maybe getting rid of your beard or anything like that? I did, I did. In fact, there was another friend of mine, his name is Ajay, he's been sending a lot of messages as well right now. <laughs> we both together, we thought of just cleaning off her head completely. And all of a sudden, my sister calls me up and she was like, this is the right time for you to try and have a man bun or something. Why don't you try for it? I was like, okay, I'm confused that right now. That so is true, yeah. Yeah, so I was I think like, I'm going to grow my hair right now. Yeah, I think either the cricketers are growing out their hair or just like completely shaving it. So we're going to see what happens once this quarantine is over. <laughs> um, okay, so Divish is asking, what's your favorite home meal? Home meal? It's obviously got to be the South Indian meals, which my mom cooks for me. So what is that? What is the specific dish? Um, like sambar, rasam. Okay. Third race. <laughs> Let's, okay, now we're going to go into just, um, lastly, like a bit about share a memory with. So I'm going to... Okay. And you're going to share any type of memory, whether it be, you know, any tips they've given with you or any, any memory you have with them. So Ashwin? Our Ashwin. Um, yeah, our Ashwin, yeah. I mean, he's encouraged me a lot when I was the captain for the Nickel Dragon. So I've had a lot of memories and uh, yeah, he's been good to me. Shane Watson? Shane Watson. Yeah, so I was asking him about how you hit the ball so long. So at that point of time, he was telling me that when I bat, I like to make a small moment before the bowler releases the ball and stuff. And also, he was like, he was asking me, what is your thing? I was like, oh, I'm just trying to learn it from you. So. <laughs> okay, uh, Suresh Raina. Suresh Raina. I don't know, this time when we were playing Holi together. I did we see, I saw the story. video. That looks like a That's lot of fun. Um, so Avinash is asking, who's the toughest bowler you've ever faced? Who's the toughest bowler? So basically, this Avinash, he's my, he's been my trainer. He's my coach for the team. So him, he was a very tough bowler, to be honest. Like he swings the ball really well. And not only that, um, I think this year when I was playing Jay Dev Unatkar, he was pretty tough to face. Okay. He was bowling quick as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. Bath Duplessis. Um, I don't know actually. 
Okay. There was one question that um, Hari Prasad Ji had asked. So from like, you know, BCCI, he was asking, um, ask him about his favorite eating spot in RS Puram. He's like, we're in neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <food. laughs> There's a place called Nuts Ray Food, so that's probably the best restaurant here, I feel. So what do you usually get there? I'll know when I come there. I mean, if you're looking for desserts, there's something called Mud Souffle, and that's just out of the world. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'll have to remember that. Um, Imran Tahir. Imran Tahir. Um, when, back in Hyderabad, when we were back, I mean, when we had our practice sessions going on, he was bowling at me, and I stepped down and I hit him, and he was like, Man, you're actually playing good. I was like, <laughs> yes, thank you. That's a compliment for me. So that I is. That. That's a huge compliment. So definitely. Um, Ravindra Jadeja. Jadeja. I mean, it has to be the game where he hit the six and he finished the game. And, you know, we just rushed on to him and we just hugged him. Uh, Shardul Thakur. Shardul. Shardul, I think it's got to be off the field where we partied and stuff, you know. Um, Pratik is asking, what's the hidden talent of yours? Sorry? Uh, Pratik asks, what's the hidden talent of yours? Do you have any hidden talents that everyone viewing should know? Hidden talent? I mean, not really. Nothing. Not really? Nah. No, Probably man. I, you have to... I can, no, no. I can actually be pretty competitive at any other sport you play. Okay. You know? yeah, Do you like competition? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, last but not the least, MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni. Oh, MS Dhoni, the special mm -hmm. moment was obviously when he, when we were playing against RCB. We lost the game, but we needed about, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure about the exact number, but we needed about 40 runs or something into when Umesh Yadav also was bowling. And I think the other one was Siraj. So, the way he thrashed them, it was, damn, it was damn good. Okay. Well, why don't you share a last message regarding this quarantine and kind of whatever you would like to say for your fans? Um, I mean, obviously, thank you all for coming and watching. And obviously, these are tough times for us. And uh, we'll all make sure that we stay indoors and make sure that we fight this all together. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me live. And for all of you guys watching, um, the episode with Naren Jagdishan will be coming out soon. So you'll get to learn a lot more about him. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Agdeesan. And hopefully, you know, stay safe and stay positive. Yeah, you too. Bye, everyone. <laughs>